Hello, my name is KB, and I want you to play a game and enjoy it. But you also have to let others enjoy it too. Because what's the point in uploading something if it's just for yourself, you selfish bugger? We are a community, and you're ruining it by making it half-assed. So enough of these insults and critiques I like throwing at you. Let me show you how to make a good Let's Play. A video series in which one person plays a game and commentates on it, in the form of do's and don'ts. Do play whatever interests you, whether it's good or bad. If it's good, then people will want to share their thoughts with you. But if it's bad, then people will want to torture themselves in the form of the play theory which applies to horror films. The game must satisfy you, and let you enjoy releasing playthroughs until the very end. Don't just play a game you're not good at. No one likes to see someone who just sucks at playing a game. It's just unwatchable, and they'll play you for ruining a game. Do play a game which can keep people watching and get noticed. So, try being the first to record a gameplay of Mass Effect 3 or something. Or a retro game which has rarely been touched upon. At least when you start out. So that means don't play a game which is too common or repetitive to do. Because, well, you only get about 50 likes in a year. Which are from you. Do introduce yourself. This will help keep people remembering who you are. Trust me, Call of Duty commentators, they are all well known but I think you'll have to seek assistance in getting featured. Maybe talk about something specific in the video, because then people will probably watch your video for one of two reasons. One, the gameplay, or two, for a Q&A, FAQ, etc. Don't ramble on. To avoid this, you can script out your introduction and then go on from there. Do speak clearly and be interesting when you speak. This means maybe having a sense of humour, appropriately. You know, get mad when you die, or face an annoying boss enemy or level. Also remember one thing, people might look for your gameplay because they're stuck on a certain part of the game. So, assist them. Tell them exactly what they want to know. And be accurate in your... helpfulness. Don't. And I mean don't. Hello, welcome to the world of Pope. Po po My name is Professor... Uh, uh, this world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. I can read for myself, okay? This means you are bored and, well, the audience, they'll probably synchronize with your mood. If you want to be adventurous like some other Let's Player, such as Electrical Beast, do take up the narrative approach. This might be one of the most fun ways to actually do a Let's Play. Don't. Not. Talk. I believe that's the whole idea of a Let's Play. Maybe do a commentary with a friend. This will create more discussion when doing a live commentary. But don't include too many people. They'll never know when to shut up. Four is probably the maximum. For live commentaries, only do them if you have a lot to talk about and you're a quick thinker, as well as being good with reactions. If not, don't do them. Just do a post commentary, as long as you're not pretending you're doing a live commentary too much, unless you're a good actor. And don't let talking distract you from playing, not like it should if you're playing Skyrim or something. And for the love of God, don't do arrow to the knee jokes. Do a blind let's play only if you're a quick learner and the game is not too hard. Ninja Gaiden would be a big no-no. And don't do a blind let's play if the game has too many puzzles. There would be a lot of editing out. And please don't sing the background music, unless you've got interesting lyrics. Do talk about the game as much as possible because, well, it makes more sense. Don't talk about unrelated topics, unless your audience need to hear them and you've got some like FAQs to answer or something else. Or if it's something that is slightly relevant to the game itself. So in other words, make it relevant to your audience. You know, give some fun facts. Do conclude in each part and recap in later parts, starting from part 2, just like in a normal video structure. This means don't leave cliffhangers or continue on parts. This means that newbies will not know what the hell is going on. Only do speak over gameplay and don't speak over cutscenes unless they're worthy of marking. Do record with the capturing device, such as a high quality Dazzle. Only use this if you've got a fast computer. Or a PVR which enables you to play games and capture it on a device. Don't record with a camera because the lighting and sound will be off and the aspect ratio, well, it'll look a little slanted. Unless you've got some sort of very nice camera like Andrew Bravenus, whose Shadow of the Colossus HD gameplay looks very nice for what it is. But even so, don't try to record a non-flat screen TV. For recording PC games, use something such as Cam Studio or Fraps, or something that costs more, such as Camtasia, which works a lot better. Don't use software that leaves watermarks. Just no. For recording audio, do use something with good quality. Obviously. Maybe a Logitech desktop microphone like I used to use before, or the one I'm using now, which is the Samsung CO1U, 
Or if you want to pay three times as much as that, you can get something made by Shaw or Behringer or whatever. Or you can even use a good enough gaming headset. Don't use something which is uneasy to listen to, such as distorted sound, which can be solved through compression, or too much bass. Not everyone has 2.1 speakers. A treble sound is more appropriate. Do try to use more of a dry sound, that means less echoes. So then, if you want echoes, I don't know why you would want them, then you could uh, put them in. So that means playing in a room with more insulation. Don't record with any background noise, such as the fan, music, parents having sex next door, or arguing. You get my point. Do either try recording while you play, or if the audio is a bit messed up, use something like Audacity to fix everything. That's what I do with my videos on this channel. Right there. Right there. Do not neglect your audio. It's the biggest turn off to when watching gameplay if the audio is messed up and it's just overblown or, you know, it's out of sync. Do where it loads of deaths so it cuts down on filler. Don't make your videos too long unless you upload a long play. It'll take a massive toll on rendering and uploading and your audience's attention span. Do try to use better video editing software so your videos look clearer and meet your specifications properly. This includes programs such as Sony Vegas, Magic's Movie Edit Pro, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, or anything else. Movie Maker is fine if the raw clip is fine. Don't add an obnoxious watermark or keep the watermark that was from your recording software. Some people come to your video so they can download the gameplay for probably a top 10 or some sort of uh, evaluation video, I, I don't know. But, you know, all they're gonna say to you is, Ugh. unless you don't want your gameplay taken, you selfish penis. Don't ask them to credit you either if they do take it. Once they've taken away the commentary, it's not your video anymore. Do make sure the gameplay volume doesn't overpower your voice. It's annoying trying to hear what the person is actually saying. Don't, however, try to make the voice louder unless you can compress it at the same time. This results in heightening up the gain to uh, a certain amount of decibels, and that will result in more distortion. Do only crop a video if there are unnecessary bars. People usually say not to crop an SD video into a 169 aspect ratio, but uh, I play my PlayStation games on my HD TV like all the time, and well, it looks fine. Not stretched out or anything. Some of it, however, may seem unnecessary, like playing Game Boy games and you want to record that. Don't crop that. It'll take more time otherwise if you render in HD, and trust me, it's not worth it. Don't try to add too many annotations. If you want to be funny, express it on the spot. Do review the video before you upload it, because then you're more sure whether you want to upload it or not, but don't hesitate to upload it. Don't upload the video if you don't think it's that good and you could do better. Just simply redo it. This is a major advantage to post commentating. Do care about the quality of your work. This helps you improve on any aspect. Don't act half-assed. Your audience will take the same effect. Do try to use programs to compress the file sizes so they're easier to upload, but don't let it affect the video quality. Don't render an AVI if you don't compress. They are a bitch, trust me. Just simply render an MP4 and no Windows Movie Video. That is just terrible. The link in the description should show you how. If you literally want to be part of the Let's Play community, do find some forums to join and get better acquainted with people on YouTube. Don't spam send your videos to anyone unless you're asking for a critique or whatever. And especially if you just ignored most of what I said and you don't give a crap and your video is crap. So that's all my advice. I hope you do well and not commit any of the mistakes I've done in the past, such as just cancelling Let's Plays altogether. You'll do fine. But until next time, lights out.